Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Partly cloudy sky over Evansville right now. Looking pretty good as we head in to the midday hour, at least get close to it. It is the midday hour, though, in Jasper and places in the eastern time zone. There's our superior ag camera with a superior view of the riverfront as we now get a gander at the riverfront in Owensboro. And we've turned the camera around a little bit uh, toward English Park, which is a little bit farther east. And the reason being, they've got the hydroplanes that'll be out there. Later on today, they'll be out there practicing. It'll be kind of cool to watch them run down the river. As did we take a look at what's going on from Ellis Park, twin bridges in view, and they were barely in view this morning for all the fog. The fog obviously long gone. Things are looking good out there right now. Uh, we got a shadow cast on the east side of Evansville from that partly cloudy sky. That's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera. They are at Deaconess Gateway. All right, what are we looking at temperature-wise? 82 degrees. Dew points up there in the very humid range. Now, it was hanging out around 70. Now it's up to 73. So we've got some pretty tough conditions with the humidity headed our way over the weekend and next week. So just a heads up. This is just a start of something big. East-southeast wind at around 7 miles an hour. How low can we go temperature-wise? I don't see the 81s. 82 in Carmi, 83 in Fairfield, 84 in Calhoun for Mama. It's 85 in Santa Claus, 86 in Tell City. And that's as warm as it gets. So we're all pretty much bunched there in the mid-80s across the board. Check this out. From yesterday, Dana Harden got this shot. In fact, I saw a bunch of pictures uh, from people that came in. This is a funnel cloud right here in Buckskin, Indiana. And this actually, if it would have touched down, it would have been a land spout. Very weak. These generally don't touch down, but it was a pretty awesome sight there in the sky over Buckskin. Dana, thank you so much for sending that picture my way. Speaking of clouds, this is a lot less ominous cloud, right? <laughs> you got the snail cloud that David Dormeyer got a shot of. There's the snail head right there. If only he had like antenna sticking up, it'd be great. There's the snail shell. I can see that. That works for a snail cloud. David, thank you so much for that picture. That was a fun one. Live first warning dot the radar. A few showers popping up and down to the southwest. We did see a few showers uh, kind of pop up in Crittenden County and also Union County. Now we're not noticing that shower at all. They're just popping up and dying down almost as soon as they do. So really not a lot of longevity with a lot of this rain as it does bubble up in the heat and the humidity. And you can see like a little wave kind of working its way into the boot heel of Missouri. I think the best chance for rain really today will be just to the west and southwest of Evansville and southeast Illinois and extreme western Kentucky, at least southwestern portions of the tri-state. So yeah, right now we've got plenty of sunshine. We'll see a few extra clouds kind of spill into the sky. Maybe a stray shower to the north, but for the most part, what little we see will be to the south. But the latest runs on our future tracker, latest couple of runs, are continuing to show these showers bubbling up right around the time the sun goes down, a little before and then a little after, before they settle down as we head into Saturday. But more clouds will be moving in. And really, as we head toward daybreak, we've got a pretty good batch of rain that's going to be heading in, too. Mainly to the south now is what it's showing. But there's still a chance of rain up to the north of the river as well. And a bit of a break midday, only to have more showers and thunder showers firing up late in the afternoon. So basically, early in the day, and late in the day tomorrow, we've got our best chances for rain with some breaks in the middle, even though we can still see a few showers out there. Then as we head into Sunday, things are looking drier. Still a slight chance for rain out there, but at the same time, we're talking about uh, temperatures getting up to 90 degrees and feels like temperatures in the mid-90s. So a little bit hotter, a little more humid. Uh, tropical storm Henri, uh, 65 mile per hour wind, so it's a strong tropical storm. The latest track has it missing the United States down to the south, but then it could take a turn to the northwest if this projection holds with the National Hurricane Center as a Category 1 hurricane packing 75 mile per hour winds, and it could be hitting part of New York, uh, right around Long Island, and also Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts. So Boston might get hit with some pretty strong winds, and Manhattan too. So just a heads up, or at least not Manhattan, but Long Island. That would be the direct path. Uh, right there in the center of the storm of the stronger winds. High today is going to be 89 degrees for us here back in the tri-state with a mix of sun and clouds out and about. A few showers and thunder showers possible. Humid, yes, for all of us. Southeast wind at around 5 to 10, but closer to 5 than 10. Three degree guarantee. I called for a high of 86 degrees yesterday for a third straight day. Uh, didn't quite hit it on the nose, but got pretty close. 87, close enough too for a three degree guarantee winner. I know that. And from Henderson, Priscilla Huff, you have got the umbrella. It is waiting for you. Just go see Pam up front here at the station and she will hand you the umbrella. A really cool one too. Now we take a look at the next seven days. Temperatures right back into the mid upper 80s tomorrow. Now we are going to be seeing the showers kind of keeping the temperature down just a little bit. We've got them again in the morning mainly and mainly late afternoon. And then we've got fairly dry day on Sunday, high temperature 90. Once we hit the 90s, there's no going back for a little while anyway. 92, 93, 92, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then on Thursday, 
little bit cooler on okay, Thursday. I'll, okay, happy. Yay. Hey, yeah, that's okay. Anyway, uh, I was worried when I saw this picture. I thought, what is wrong with that hummingbird? <laughs> Bob Basinger got the shot on the west side of his tailing, but it actually is, is napping. It's a napping hummingbird. I didn't know hummingbirds napped I didn't know they ever upside stopped. down. You know, uh, you don't see them. Maybe stop. that's a bat. They're calm. Maybe that's not. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's maybe a baby bat. Maybe that's a bat. It's got a long hummingbird beak. Maybe it it's disguised a as a hummingbird, but it's actually it's a Halloween bat. It's Halloween costume. It might be. Yeah. <laughs> hey, our gr uh, gr handstanding grandma is coming up next. We're going to work out our buns. Oh so yeah. Get ready, buns of steel. Go. Buns.